In this video I'm going to try to characterize the crystal filter here by uh, measuring the resonant frequency, the center frequency of the filter and as well determining the bandwidth of the filter and the uh, insertion loss. In order for me to make these measurements I can't use my spectrum analyzer because the impedance of the crystal filter is 200 ohms and with the transformers uh, I have uh, the input impedance to the uh, crystal filter is 1500 ohms which is matching the uh, output impedance of the SA612 and the input impedance of the second 612. Because the uh, spectrum analyzer, its impedance is 50 ohms, if I was to connect this at any point in this circuit, it's going to load the circuit down, and as, as a result, the Q of the filter is going to change, and I won't be able to measure the, um, uh, the insertion loss uh, and the, the bandwidth properly. What I'll be doing is I'll be feeding a signal in, and I have got a... 1500 ohm resistor uh, in series with the signal generator. This is the local oscillator that's feeding the uh, SA612. There's a 1500 ohm resistor between the um, local oscillator and the input to the filter. I've removed the uh, uh, the SA612 and I've just uh, connected uh, the resistor here. I don't know if you can see it across the, the two pins so the signal generator now looks as if it's 1500 ohms and I've done the same thing on the output side here where I've got a 1500 ohm resistor between the input to this SA612 and to ground so the crystal filter now is going to see uh, 1500 ohms and it should be happy the measurements I'll be making is with a scope here I've got uh, probe uh, one and scope probe two connected. Uh, probe one is connected to the input of the crystal filter and scope probe two is connected to the uh, output of the crystal filter. Just to reiterate the uh, setup I'm using, here's my crystal filter and here is the two transformers that's doing a 7.5 to 1 transformation to transform 1500 ohms to 200 ohms and likewise transforming 200 ohms to 1500 ohms on this side there's the termination resistor and that's where I'll have my uh, uh, scope probe 2 connected uh, that probe is at uh, 10x uh, which uh, will ensure that it doesn't load the circuit down and the same thing here I've got uh, probe 1 connected to the input of the filter I've got my signal generator here which is uh, 50 ohms and I've got a 1500 ohm resistor connected in series with it so the crystal filter should see 1500 ohms well actually 1550 ohms so how much of a difference is that 50 extra 50 ohm ohms is going to make in terms of the measurement so here I've done a little bit of math to show how much of a difference it's going to make so basically this is a voltage divider We've got 1500 ohms um, uh, being uh, uh, divided by another 1500 ohm resistor, but there's an additional 50 ohm resistor. So the factor, if you do the math, the factor by which the voltage uh, output here is going to change is going to be R over R plus 25 for a 50 ohm resistor, which is coming out, it's going to be 98.4% uh, 98 of um, the value if that 50 ohm resistor wasn't there. So if that 50 ohm resistor wasn't present, okay, the voltage I would see there would change and I would see 98.4 percent of that voltage if I add the 50 ohm resistor in. So that means the voltages will be off by less than 2 percent or about 16 millivolts. So it shouldn't make uh, a huge difference in terms of the measurements. The way I'll measure the resonant frequency and the insertion loss 
of the crystal filter will be to monitor the voltage at the output of the filter that's displayed on my scope as I change the frequency on the generator. Once I get the maximum voltage on the output that'll be the resonant frequency. The signal, the frequency of the signal generator will match the resonant frequency of the crystal filter. Once I get the maximum here I could look at the ratio of the voltage, the, the uh, output voltage versus the input voltage and uh, that'll give me the insertion loss of the um, uh, filter. In addition, once I know the maximum output voltage, I can uh, calculate the bandwidth by measuring the minus 3 dB points, the upper 3 dB point and the lower 3 dB point. So what, I, what I'll do in that case is I will change the frequency and monitor the voltage until this voltage drops by 0.707 or drops minus 3 dB and at that point I know I have either the upper or the lower uh, minus 3 dB point depending on whether I'm increasing the voltage or I'm de decreasing the voltage. This is the display from my scope and the way I've got it configured is that the yellow trace here is channel 1 which is connected to the input of the filter so this is actually um, the output of the signal generator which is the XG3 which is supposed to be a, a square wave and we're seeing the wave it's a little bit distorted and uh, channel 2 which is connected to the output of the crystal filter is the purple trace here and that it looks like it's uh, a nice uh, sine wave and um, uh, the filter is doing what it's supposed to be doing it's uh, um, it's attenuating all the high frequency uh, harmonics from the square wave and we're left with the with the fundamental frequency I've also got my scope set up to measure the peak to peak in RMS uh, for both the channels and we'll be uh, using that to record values. So I'll now go ahead and change the uh, frequency to get the maximum uh, output signal. So as you can see there, you can see the purple trace decreasing and then increasing and then decreasing. The interesting thing to note here is that the input trace, the input to the filter is changing quite a bit and what that might indicate is that the there is an impedance disconnect or an impedance mismatch and we're getting a reflected signal coming back and that's causing the input signal to distort so the crystal filter may not be 200 ohms we assumed, I assumed in all my calculations that the filter is 200 ohms and if the filter is not 200 ohms that might explain what we're seeing here so anyway I'll go ahead and I'll get the maximum uh, voltage here which is about there and let me make a current measurement. So the RMS voltage is about 423 uh, as the output and about 684 as the input and the frequency say, says it's 491450 MHz. The signal generator is saying it's putting out a frequency of 491505 so we'll use that as the center a resonant frequency of the filter. So I'll now go and calculate the frequency of the uh, minus 3 dB points. So here I know what the uh, maximum voltage is. So if I um, take 3 dB of that value, I decrease that value by 3 dB, uh, which comes out to be about 0.3 volts, 
and so I'll adjust my frequency. Um, I'll increase the fre frequency until I get 0.3 volts there, and that's going to represent the upper uh, 3 dB point. So I'll take it right down until see it remains flat for a while then it actually drops off so I'll bring it back up until I get about 0.3 volts so that's about there let me just um, clear my measurements yep so there we go so that frequency is 491516 megahertz and my frequency generator is saying 491565 so I'll use that frequency as the uh, the upper 3 dB point so I'll repeat the same procedure to get the uh, lower 3 dB point I'll decrease the frequency that input wave sure changes quite a bit So I'm back to my maximum there, and I start bringing it down. Interesting, the at that point the frequency is increasing, the voltage is increasing, so it looks as if I've got some ripple in the passband for the filter. So let me take it right down, there we go, it's dropped off, and bring it back up. So it's at about 0.3 volts. And let me clear my measurements to get an accurate reading. And it's saying it's uh, uh, 0.289, which is as close I can get to 0.3. So at that point, my frequency here is saying it's 491375. And my generator is saying 491375. So this frequency now represents the lower 3 dB point. I've created a spreadsheet to help me with the calculations to measure the insertion loss, the center frequency, and the uh, uh, bandwidth of the uh, crystal filter. This part of the spreadsheet is calculating the insertion loss. So I've got the input voltage to the filter um, measured in RMS and I've got the output voltage, the maximum voltage, that's the maximum output voltage I, I saw as I adjusted the frequency, and the ratio of these two voltages expressed as a, a dB is the insertion loss, and right now it looks as if the insertion loss is minus 4 dB. The insertion loss for this filter seems a little low, and may be a result of the uh, suspected impedance mismatch that I observed that's uh, causing the uh, input voltage to be measured uh, incorrectly because I've got reflected waves coming back and uh, that may have caused the input voltage to change and be not uh, measured accurately. This part of the spreadsheet is measuring the bandwidth and so I've got, I entered the uh, center frequency, I call that F0, so that is the frequency at which I got the maximum output out of the filter, and then I measured the upper and lower 3 dB points based on voltages, and I entered the frequencies here, and the difference between those uh, frequencies is represents the bandwidth. So right now I'm seeing uh, about uh, 1400 hertz of uh, bandwidth which is reasonable for a crystal filter because you would expect the bandwidth of a crystal filter to be the of the order of a few kilohertz. The Q, which is a measure of the ratio of the center frequency uh, to bandwidth, comes out to be uh, almost 3500. So one thing to note is that Q is the loaded Q. So that represents what the Q of that uh, resonant peak of the filter is uh, when it's terminated on either side.